Hey everyone, welcome to Try and Faith. Today we're going to do a fun little plan with me. We're going to do the week of November 25th to December 1st. And I am just using a um, happy planner and it's the um, vertical, um, oops, vertical layout for you. And um, this is just one that I've had for the last 18-ish months, yeah. So I haven't done this week yet though, so I thought it'd be fun, especially since Thursday is Thanksgiving. So I hope you'll enjoy and come along with me on this journey. So let's get right into planning some Thanksgiving fun. Um, I have an amazing assortment of fall stickers that I just thought would be super fun to try to incorporate in a little bit. And one of the ones I really, really want to start with is this one because it has great fall on it. And I feel like, although I believe that gratitude should be practiced all year long, um, it's fun to um, make sure we're splurging on it, I guess. So this layout's kind of fun just because it's super open. There's a lot to do with it. Um, you could plan your days word for word. Man, there's like stuff all over it. Um, word for word. Or you could just kind of go with it. And I love that. I do love using this kind of layout um, for social media. I've done that a lot. Um, and I like that the has the weekly highlight and notes in it because I just think it's fun to have that and remind yourself to, you know, put your gratitude there or whatever. So, uh, cause it's Thanksgiving week, let's use some pumpkins. Um, and I hope that all of you have maybe a little bit of a laid back week. Um, we have some things going on, but nothing too exciting, um, in our life, but I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Um, we're still going to be at home this week, which I don't know. I think there's something about just not having a ton of stuff and being able to relax and be at home together. Um, yeah, it's kind of one of my favorite things. So, mm. so... I am not a huge pumpkin pie person. I know that's weird, right? I feel like the rest of my family is, but not me. Oh yes. So I have these adorable fox and groundhog or hedgehog and birds and owls, and I just thought it'd be super fun to put these on my fall page this week. So we're gonna add a little bit of that. Because I think these foxes are so so cute. I don't know. Um, I want to find my Thanksgiving word so I can put it on here. And I saw one just a little bit ago, so let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, I have this paper studio one, but I might have abused all the ones up in this that say Thanksgiving, so let's look a little bit more. What's your favorite way to decorate your planner? Do you decorate your planner? Um, are you a sticker person? A um, washi tape? Wow, my brain. Gotta, gotta get my brain thoughts together, guys. Mm, this is pretty. I love this. I don't know that that really matches, though. I have these. I've never heard of this company before. Um, Jen Hatfield homemade. It's the first book I've ever gotten from them, but I really like their stuff. It's very um, light and airy, I feel like, so I think it's beautiful. Maybe we'll try to do some of this. I'm not sure if they go with my boxes, though, but let's put a little more Grateful Heart in there because always a good reminder. 
Hmm. Man, I really wanted my Thanksgiving to go. Wonder, wonder, where is it? Let's just have been on this one. Maybe it's in this one. I thought it was in a different one. But I have my balance. Okay, so this is a pretty cute one that I just got recently. It's from the paper studio. Just get the um, get the plastic off it. Um, the agenda 52. And this, I think, will have a Thanksgiving I could use. I really liked these because I thought they were bright, which is sometimes I think nice to have. And like the colors are dark, like rich, maybe is my word I'm looking for. All right, that's uh, Christmas. Let's go this way. I saw a squirrel. I saw a squirrel. Mm, there we go. Let's take a look at some of those. Um, I think some of these are super cute. I love the squirrel. I think he's cute. And the owls. Let's see. This one. I'll just use this sweet little one. Mm. Oh, man, I thought I had more. Okay, we're going to use this one. Um. And we're going to put that bad boy right there. And then, hmm, what other ones could we use? These are pretty too. Boy, so many beautiful stickers. Oh, sweater weather. So we just got done with snow. Um, we literally got, uh, I don't know, a foot and a half. And what's funny about that is... It's like every few years that we get that much snow once. We normally get like a couple inches, if that. So that's kind of crazy right before Thanksgiving. I was like, oh, so much for like a white Christmas, not so much a white Thanksgiving, but that's just me. So, all right, let's see where we can use a couple more of these because I feel like they're super cute. Put him right there maybe. He can be grateful. I want to use mm. Oh yes, okay. Hmm, I love the colors on these flowers. And I think to incorporate with that one, we'll just put these here. Because I feel like they'll kind of maybe go together. I don't know what you think. Do that. And then because you should always be making memories with your family. I'll put that bad boy right there. And then I'm going to use a few more of these. Um, I know I threw those snowflakes in there, but that's just kind of because, you know, it's crazy. Um, this guy's kind of cute. I'll use this one. Where are we getting there, guys? What do you think? being able to use these fun fall ones because I don't know kind of after Thanksgiving I'm like all right I'm done with fall let's move on to Christmas <laughs> so um, they're just kind of cute and then what I'll do after I get done with this is I can fill in the fun stuff um, on my page So, yeah, let's use orange since it's Thanksgiving time, and so I'm going to write B, and I am not a calligraphy type writer, I wish I could do that, we need together, 
So I'm just gonna kind of fill it in as I need to. And then this one, I know my kids have have a get together, so we'll throw that there. Um, because that's gonna be fun for them. And then I know on this day we have a murder, <laughs> murder with a Y. Wow, y'all. Oh, some days murder mystery. That's why I was trying to put that Y in there. Dinner. Um, so that'll be super fun. And let me see where my white out is, and I'll just try to fix that a little bit. Oh, that didn't work so good. There we go. Where Mr. Dinner? And then here I'm gonna put time to get moving because I have a feeling after Thanksgiving, um, no matter what we do, it seems like we always just have those extra foods around and I'm gonna put that as a reminder of myself. <sighs> um, I feel like to like to put another pumpkin or two on here just I don't know. I feel like it's not quite where I want it to be. And then mm, let's see if we can use up these leaves because they're still still cute. Oh and that's December. Mm, maybe I should have put like something different. We'll do our next month like different. This one's actually kind of good for Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> Time to get moving. Don't sleep around all day. I'm like you ate too much turkey. What's your favorite kind of pie? I'd love to know. I uh, I love apple. I don't love pumpkin. I told you that. Um, but apple man, I am golden. Um, I especially the one is a Dutch apple with the crumbs on top. Yeah, that's not the blue I want. Um, maybe it's looking for a blue to write. Maybe I'll okay. okay. use some of stickers if I have it. Um, no, nah, we're just gonna write. We're gonna be brave. December. December. I cannot believe it is going to be December. I'm super thankful. Like we've had some amazing things happen over the last couple months. Um, but it's been so crazy how fast time's going. Like I always knew it went fast, but I feel like these last um, couple months, man, they have flown by. So I thought it'd be fun to put in here like what I'm looking forward to for December. Um, like I know most of these, you probably know they have like the pages where you can write a lot of stuff like that. Um, but I don't know. I just thought I'd write in here. So I'm looking forward to Christmas because I love Christmas. I love caroling. I am so looking forward to caroling. I hope we get to go. Some years we make it and some years we don't. Um, but it's always fun when we do get to go. And when we, when we do make it, so um, we'll see if we get to go this year. The kids are getting older. My son's graduating this year, so we'll see what God does in our life. I love decorating um, for Christmas. We haven't done that yet. I love baking um, for people. It's funny, I don't really like want to eat it always myself, but I love baking it for people and doing things. And I love doing random acts of kindness. Um, man, my brain's out ahead of me. Um, because it's fun to bless people. That's like one of my favorite things to do. Just randomly bless people. So yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to in December. I'd love to know what you're looking forward to in December. Maybe leave them in the comments below and let me know. Um, just because it's fun to share and it's fun to share what people are excited about and um, you know what God's doing. And I know sometimes it's a rough time of year, but um, 
I do believe we can make make this the best year for us and um, we just have to be willing to do it so uh, mindset's a powerful thing I know it's hard sometimes but um, do what you can you know like do what you can to change your thought process and um, yeah show gratitude it, it, it's a life changer and I feel like it really helps sometimes. So I'd love to love to see you guys do that and see what you're thankful for. So I'm gonna try to add one more of these just down here across the weekly highlight. Um just to add, like I was hoping to add a little bit more blue. Um so maybe full hearts. And I have a feeling we have to do two, so maybe we'll do full hearts. Can get it off. There we go. Right here. And then oh, it's a little clearer than I was hoping. Oh, that's okay. And we're gonna do happy day. And then I can put um, maybe like a couple gratitude things here this week. Um, of, you know, my weekly highlights or something. That's always a good thing to do, I think. Highlights from your week and just, like, some bullet points of it because um, you might not be able to see that bit super well. Kind of shows up better, I think, in person. But my highlights from this week, just wanting to remember some things and, um, yeah, enjoying moments with my husband and with my kids. So, cool guys, this is my weekly layout um, for November 25th to December 1st. I hope you enjoyed just chatting with me, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a blessed day, and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like what you're seeing, I'd love for you to follow around, and I appreciate your support.